Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Tanner here and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're doing something a little bit different. So this is obviously the Marvel Legends series Avengers Endgame Stormbreaker, uh, pretty much out of its box already. Um, for those of you guys that have not seen my videos before, I mainly just do Ninjago based content, but today I figured I'd try something a little bit different because I got this guy in the mail today and it's really, really cool. So just taking a quick look at the packaging, we can definitely see some really cool stuff going on here. Again, this is an official Avengers Endgame product. Uh, the only reason I'm doing a video on it now is because I have not seen anybody else do a video on this thing, so I figured I might as well do my part in order to get reviews of this out there. You can see it is an 18 plus uh, item here. We have some really nice artwork on the front, and of course we have a nice product image of Stormbreaker itself. So yeah, overall this is a really cool box for it. Uh, quite a large box at that, and uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the actual Stormbreaker piece itself. So this whole thing is a pretty interesting piece in my opinion. It looks extremely cool. I love all the detailing on it. Um, in the packaging it does have a little bit of plastic covering in order to defend itself from any damages in the box, so that pretty much makes sense here. Uh, the actual axe head itself looks phenomenal, and the hammer portion of Stormbreaker looks really great too. It has some uh, little uh, alien writing there as you can see. There's a few examples of that throughout the piece. You can see another one right there. And uh, just overall, the entire presence of this thing is absolutely beautiful. That's the box that came with in the back there. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you can kind of compare that for size if you wanted to. But let's take a look at an actual measurement. So yeah, measuring from the bottom of the axe all the way up to the top, you can see that it comes in at around 42 inches, 42 and a half from the point there to the point down there. So that's been a pretty impressive length, all things considered. This thing is absolutely huge. And of course, in addition to being huge, this thing is also very, very heavy. It's quite difficult for me to lift up. Um, but the actual, again, the texture of the thing is great. The actual presence of the axe is very movie accurate, I'd say. The whole thing reminds me of what we saw in the movie. Uh, it's a very close replica, if not an exact perfect one. The actual uh, branch effect here is a little bit realistic too. It's not perfect. It's a little bit more rubber-esque than what I would prefer, but just overall it's a pretty interesting shape and a pretty interesting texture. Of course, you could see a hidden button right there that will activate the lights and sounds, and the actual battery port is uh, deep within the axe head itself, so we can take a look at that really quick too. But the actual battery port is going to be down in this section right here. If we take this off, it's kind of a difficult process, and the actual handle does come uh, assembled separately from the actual axe head piece, and it's just going to kind of cycle and make noise in between there. But the actual battery port is right down in here. Uh, taking off this portion here is a little bit difficult, so for the sake of this video I will not be doing and it. And also for the sake of the product at hand, I don't really want to uh, risk breaking it, but I found that to be the most difficult part of this. It does take three AA batteries in order to make the whole thing work. But yeah, when you get all the batteries installed and everything put together like that, all you want to do is just push this button and it will light up. <laughs> And of course, there are sound effects included in there as well. Um, the whole presence of the axe is really cool as well. The actual only issue that I have with it is the fact that sometimes the sounds kind of go off at random points and it's kind of frustrating. But just overall, yeah, you see there's a good example. And I don't just do that. And just overall, I'm really impressed with the actual presence. The only issue that I have with this whole thing in general is the fact that the battery port for me is a little difficult to access, but again, that might just be this particular copy. I don't feel like everyone's going to have issues with it. But just overall, yeah, this is a pretty great product, all things considered. Really happy with this. The price point, uh, depending on where you buy it from, I bought mine off of Amazon, put in a pre-order a few weeks ago, and it was priced at $159.99 USD, so kind of a pricey product here, but in my opinion, it's definitely worth it. This thing is very accurate to the movie, and if you are an Avengers fan like myself, or just a fan of the character of Thor, especially from Avengers Endgame, uh, I'd highly recommend picking this thing up. It's incredible to have, it's really nice, uh, looks great among the other stuff in my collection, and just overall, I would highly recommend it to any Avengers fan slash Thor fan out there. So, so just overall, that'll just about do it for this video here. Just a quick look at the Avengers Endgame Legends series Thor Stormbreak. I haven't really seen anyone else do reviews on this yet as of the time of recording, so I'm not sure if I got lucky with one of the first samples or what's going on here. I know a lot of stores have it uh, dated for November or December even on Amazon right now. As far as I'm concerned, as far as I can see on Amazon, it is 100% available to purchase right now. So let me know down below in the comments what you think about this thing. Again, sorry for the little abnormal uh, content here. Uh, I just wanted to make a video on this thing because it's really, really cool and uh, I hadn't really seen anybody else do it. So thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I will catch you guys in the next video.